So I let my Instagram followers drop me hard day trading questions so I can help them get better. I messed up. I go. So you should probably go follow me on Instagram just in case I do this again, which definitely ain't gonna happen. Current day Steph's gonna be talking to future Steph over there. How you doing, Steph? What up, twin? He's gonna be answering all our questions for us. I put these in order of like complexity so we can kind of build off of it as we go. How did Steph get into trading? I think we can come together and say this is probably one of the best jobs ever. Free time, everything is amazing. I don't really need to explain it. What should you trade? Forex, futures, or options? Futures, options, forex, they're all really good. It's totally personal preference. I know a lot of people have had success with all three. The best thing about it is it's very interchangeable. You can start with one and switch to another. Majority of the time, you can switch your strategy to other markets and do well with it. It's all trading at the end of the day. It's totally personal preference. How long do I paper trade? The longer, the better. It's only going to help you and save you money in the long term, give you time to back test your strategy, build your strategy itself, gain confidence. And obviously discipline helps a lot, but majority of the time you're only going to get disciplined from actively trading. Some things paper trading just can't simulate. Just take it seriously and obviously use it to your advantage. Why did you start trading? I love money. Shitcoin trading? I did dabble around with some mean coins in the past. Crypto's cool. It's not great. If you like gambling, bro, just go bet on sports or something. Live or funded accounts? Funded accounts just clear absolutely everything. I actually passed the 150k today. Add it to the list. You get to spend less money to have more capital. Yes, passing some is pretty hard. It's definitely achievable. And once you have a good strategy, it's not too hard. Funded accounts are the future. How much was your first portfolio? My first port was about $3,000 on Webull. I made 50% in my first trade and I thought that shit was easy. About a week or two later, the entire thing was gone. Don't full port. You should probably educate yourself before. Early struggles as a day trader. There's so many little early struggles that everyone's gonna have. Majority of the time, it's just discipline in general, which is something that just has to be built with losing. I would say the biggest thing for me is take away the positives from losing. Cause like I said, it's inevitable. Cause when you start losing in the beginning, it gets dark. Take away all the positives you can. Losing's okay and it's part of the process and everyone's gonna do it. Just keep that angle in mind. If this dude in a snapback and a tank top is doing it every day, I definitely can't. Can I trade with a busy schedule? This is why I think trading is one of the best jobs on the planet, like I was saying earlier. At this point, I could trade once a week and live off of it. It's something where you don't need a lot of time to do. I trade live every day in the Discord from 9.30 to 10.30. An hour a day. You ain't got time for that? Bullshit. How does support and resistance work? So support supports price. Resistance resists price. Find areas like this where there's immense buying and selling pressure. Mark it out. Then we trade off it. We broke the support. It turns into resistance. We hop in shorts off the retest and we catch 20 points. This video might help you. These are legit questions. Your steps to supply and demand. It's like I just talked about it, brother. Did you not hear what I just said? We'll dive into it more. Probably my favorite trading style with these levels is the break and retest. Like I said, overall trend, very established. It is very bearish. You can see throughout this, we are respecting these levels pretty well, meaning that they're strong. So what I like to do is a break and a retest of a level. So with it coming down, meaning bearish, we break through support levels. That's a good thing. Once we break the support levels, which are proven to be strong, like they are right here, we finally broke through it. Usually what happens is price comes through, retests the level, aka I like to call it a kiss goodbye, kiss the level and continue lower. Like I said, we hopped in shorts right here, stop losses and close above the level in the one minute and we ride that boy down, pause. And majority of the time you're setting yourself up for a great risk reward trade. Talk about risk to reward. What did I just say? Break and retest. We broke this level, retested it and we saw higher. Okay. Almost a 6.0 risk to reward. A lot of people just say, fuck it. When they try to get into trades and just have their exits wherever ends up losing you a lot of money with these levels you're able to trade between them when i trade off these levels i can premeditate every single trade i take just like this one i took earlier that day price is dumping we fall right into my level what do you know and we start to reclaim the slow hop in longs but with the overall trend of the market i just wanted to hop out already took a good trade like 20 30 points i can set this up before i get into it and say hey if we close below this level i'm fully out that's a 5.78 risk reward and if i would have held this to my next level which did work out that's 15 risk reward you're able to use these levels as your stop loss and have great risk reward trades meaning you make more money and you risk less. Come on, bro. Best time frames to day trade on. Time frames are totally personal. I trade on the one and the two minute. If you want to trade on the 30 minute, bro, go ahead. I don't care. Whatever you're profitable with doing, go ahead and continue that. The shorter the time frame, the harder it will be. It's a lot easier to establish trend on the bigger time frames. The one minute, goaded. Do I trade on news? Why wouldn't I enter a trade off one of my levels? And that's a really good question. Every time it touches the zone, that doesn't mean I have to trade off it, right? I'm surprised I took this trade right here because I am playing against the trend, which I really, really, really don't emphasize you do. Majority of the time, if we are this bearish, I would wait for a break and then catch the retest and short it. But obviously I waited and saw that we were going to reclaim the slow. Avoid the news. Sometimes news gets in the way. The trend obviously is very important. And then just look at yourself in the mirror, bro, and just be like, yo, is this worth getting into a trade for? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Judge price action throughout the day. See if it's going well or not, and then take the trade. You don't have to just take the trade every single time. I can like feel when there's about to be a good move. <laughs> hey, yo, pause. Hello. Around how much do you put in a trade? On futures, I use about eight to 10 minis. I know it's a lot, but I use big accounts. I claim to be more of a scalper. So I'm using more contracts with less of a stop loss. So really I'm not over leveraging. It's just what I've been comfortable with and how much you should be using is totally personal. And definitely it depends on what the size of the account you have. 
Eight to 10 though, usually. On NQ. I don't trade it yet. When should I start to go full-time? You'll know exactly when you're ready to go full-time, all right? This isn't like a random thing you should do. When you get to the point where you're making a lot of money consistently with a good strategy and high discipline and your bank account is booming, you'll be able to tell very quickly that this is my job. Steps to be more profitable? The more you treat yourself like a professional day trader, as ironic and corny as it sounds, the better you're gonna be. I'm not gonna beat the dead horse and tell you to just be disciplined and have a better strategy. You have to tell yourself, all these rules that you know you should be doing right. And if you mess them up, that's on you. Especially if you in my Discord and you hear me teach you a lot, I've laid you the blueprint. How do I make so much off of my trades? It's magic. I make so much off my trades because I have over a million in funded accounts. Making a thousand bucks from a million dollars? Pull the percentage up, bro. It's very easy. How do I start? What's next? If you think you're ready to start actually taking trades, I really suggest you get into Discord. I know you hear it all the time, but by far it's the best thing that you can do. Surround yourself with people just like you. Talk to professionals every day and learn even more because I know you think you may know a lot. You can continue to learn more and more. And I'm going to continue to plug myself because obviously I'm the best. You know, these boys making a thousand plus every single day. Shout out Mike. Shout out Nova. Nova's my guy too. 800 bucks. 20 and 0. The main thing though is just being around other people like this. It's hard to do this solo. That's what we're here for. Work with me. I'm going to do everything I can to change your life. Bro. I'm going to put it in front of you. You taking a run. That's up to you. If you don't want to, all right, bro. Whatever. Back to the other stuff. That's it. You should consider subscribing because I need that fucking play button.